Hey everyone, welcome to lesson 5.5 where we're going to be solving radical equations. Now, real quick, radical equation, a radical is just a fancy sounding word for a root. So fancy word for root. So a radical equation basically just means an equation with at least one root in it. That's a radical equation. Boom, not too bad. So that's all we're doing, solving root equations. Now it gives us the instructions right here. To solve a radical equation, you'll probably wanna put a star next to this. We have two steps. Step one, isolate the radical on one side of the equation, AKA get the root by itself. That's your first step, get the root by itself. Step two, raise each side to the power suggested by the index. So that just means if it's a square root, square both sides. If it's a cube root, cube both sides. And then you just solve it like a normal equation from there. So let's look at our first example right here. Step one, get the root by itself. So I'm gonna add five, get rid of this five right here so I can get this square root all by itself. Now that the root is all by itself, I'm going to raise it to whatever power I need to to get rid of this root. So this is a square root, so I'm going to square it to get rid of it. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So I get 4x plus 1 equals 5 squared, which is 25. Now we're going to minus 1 to both sides. From here we're just solving for x like normal. So I get 4x equals 24. Divide by 4 to get x all by itself. So I get x equals 6. Now we're actually not quite done yet. And here's why. These kinds of equations can have extraneous solutions. If you remember back when we were solving rationals, you remember we had to plug it back into the equation to make sure it worked? Same thing here. These kinds of equations can produce fake answers. So I need to double check that this isn't a fake answer by plugging it back into the original equation and making sure it works. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to plug x equals 6 into this equation and make sure it works. So I've got square root of 4x, so 4 times 6, because I'm plugging 6 in, plus 1 minus 5 should equal 0. So 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 minus 5 hopefully equals 0. 24 plus 1 is 25 minus 5, hopefully equals 0. Square root of 25 is 5, minus 5, hopefully equals 0. And 5 minus 5 does indeed equal 0. Check. So because that checked out, we can say yes, x equals 6 is our solution. So I want you to try right here number 2 on your assignment. So what I'm going to have the sub do, pause the video, Try this problem out on your own, get an answer, should be very similar to what we just did, and then play the video to check your answer. Don't forget, once you get an answer, to plug it back in and see if it's right. Ready, set, go. Welcome back. Let's check what you got with what I got. So I got x equals 23. I added seven to get the root by itself. Now that the root's by itself, I can square both sides to get rid of the root. So I got 2x plus 3 equals 49, and from there just solved for x by minusing 3 and dividing by 2 to get 23. And then don't forget, I needed to plug it back in to check it. So I plugged 23 back into this original equation, and I simplified it out, ended up with 7 minus 7, which is 0. So that isn't a fake answer. It does work. We're gonna try one last problem right here, number one, for this video. 
Now the trick for this problem is remembering we have to get the root by itself first. So I'm going to minus 3 to both sides. So I get 3 square root of x equals 12. And then I'm going to divide by 3 because the root still isn't by itself. So I divide by 3. So I get square root of x equals 4. And now the root is by itself. That's what I wanted. So now that the root is by itself, I can square it. So those cancel and I get x equals 4 squared, which is 16. And then I have to check my answer. So plug it into the original, make sure it works. So square root of 16 is 4. Three times four is 12, and 12 plus three is indeed 15. Checks out, so that is our answer. Okay, that is it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna talk about solving these sorts of equations when you have a fraction in your exponent.